live with me, Natalie. Um, how are you all doing? I hope you've had a very lovely weekend. My weekend wasn't too good, to be honest. So what better way to cheer me up than to use the most beautiful gemstones today? We're going to be making some gorgeous gemstone um, double strung, double stranded, beautiful necklaces using some gem chips and some crystals. Um, really easy, basic bead stringing, but they look beautiful. And you're going to get so much in your kit today. Not only are you going to be able to make a double necklace, you're also going to have enough left over to make a little matching bracelet as well. So very excited to be in my element today. Um, the crystals that I have picked out for you and in terms of the gemstones are some of my favourites. Um, they're the most beautiful array of colours. So this should be something that ticks every box. There is something there, I think, colour-wise for everybody. Um, and they're an absolute bargain. Um, some of the gemstones we've picked are very expensive to source. And when you see these prices and what you're getting, um, yeah, very excited. So I'm in my element today. Thank you so much for joining me. Drop me a comment, let me know where are you watching from? What are you up to? Uh, Elaine says, good morning, everybody from a wet Accrington, Lancashire. Um, Jen says she's sending hugs. Thanks, Jen. Uh, Judith says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Camille says, good morning, Natalie. A bit chilly this morning. Hope you've had a good weekend. And she gives me a wave. Uh, Lucy says, good morning, everybody. Mina's here. She says she's got her order in already, which is amazing. Hello to Tutu. Um, yeah, Mina, wait till you see these. You know I love me, Jen stones but these are just so lovely um really good make so if you're new to jewelry making or if you're a lover of gemstones like i am then this is the make for you um i might give you a little little sneaky peek of what's on my table this morning i can't fit them all in there's that many of them i can't fit them all in um so he says good morning all from a sunny suffolk uh, Lisa's in, she's wishing everybody a good morning, as is Pauline, she says where's the sun today, I don't know, it's been raining here all morning, it's stopped raining now, it's it's overcast, it's not as windy as it has been, but yeah, it doesn't look like a lovely summer's day, good morning to Rachel, she says good morning everybody, not nice weather here in South Yorkshire, um, Elaine's giving me a wave, Lucy is saying it's a rainy Monday morning in Milton Keynes, um, Michelle is saying good morning Natalie, and every everyone nice to join you live today it's lovely that you're with us michelle and celia says good morning from a wet bolton as well right let me take you down very quickly and show you the goodies look at all these look at them all as i say i can't fit them all in we've got beautiful rose quartz so if you're a lover of pink they're for you absolutely beautiful we've got appetite which is just stunning it's one of my favorites we've got aquamarine which if you've ever had aquamarine before you know how expensive aquamarine is it's gorgeous i'm just showing you bracelets at the moment because as i say there's just so much on my desk we've got black obsidian for you and there's crystals as well as the gemstones in there just to make a little bit of sparkle if you couldn't have enough already. We've got the most stunning dark amethyst. We've got malachite, again, another very expensive one for you here. We've got garnet, which is just beautiful. Lucy's like, oh my goodness, I want it all. Good morning to Margaret. Good morning to Edward. Good morning to Sue. We've got beautiful peridot, which is gorgeous. This reminds me of like sunlight coming through leaves on a tree. It is just so pretty, stunning colours. And we've also got goldstone for you as well. So I'm going to talk you through a little bit about the properties of them um, and how they're made and what they're made of and just how gorgeous they are. As I say, in my absolute element today, um, what have I missed in the comments? You've all got very excited. Um, Sue has been 
Um, she's had a festival in her town yesterday, which was fab, which sounds lovely. Hello to Margaret and Fife. Uh, good morning to Kath. Hello to Sheila. She says, good morning, Natalie and fellow. I think that's Beaders. And she says, it's hot in Chroma. Um, Joe says, good morning, everyone. Might treat myself to these today. Kath says, oh, I love these. Good morning to Hannah. Hello to Linda. Lovely to see you, Linda. How are you doing? Um, Jacqueline's in. She says, good morning, Natalie. Beautiful here today. Hi, everyone. Looking forward to today. I'm sitting comfy. Well, I'm glad you're comfy. Um, Tutu is telling me there's a little bit of rain in Hawaii. Um, Lucy says, you can guess Rose Quartz is her favourite, but they're all stunning. And Sharon says, good morning, creative Bedany is back home to dull and wet weather. Sharon, you were meant to bring the sunshine home with you. You had one job. What have you done? <laughs> right. Um, Mina saying she's loving the rose quartz and the black is popular too. So you're also liking the obsidian there. Uh, Natalie goes live and the sun starts shining. Well, thank you, Lucy. That's nice. It's not here. It's um, not raining though right now. So that's a good thing. Right. I'm going to take you over to the website and I'm going to talk you through these amazing bargains today. I'm hoping the sound doesn't go too crackly because... You know it likes to jump, so I'll take my time. I do talk fast when I'm excited, so I'll try and keep myself calm and I'll, I'll take solace in my crystals today. So let me take you over to the website. We are on totallybeads.co.uk. If you scroll down into our video tutorial category, you'll see today we've got got the Anionette set for you. So enough there to make a bracelet and a beautiful double strand necklace as well. Let's get going. So you can see they do very, we've got 10% off for you for this week only. And these are all the absolute beauties that I've got here. Look at them all. I'm gonna start at the top. So this is the appetite, it's nine pounds. So that's down from 10 and I must it's an absolute bar for what you're getting for the amount of gemstones that you're getting on these strands there's just they're just so gorgeous and such a brilliant price so in your kit you're going to get one very long strand of the appetite gemstone chips you're going to get one strand of your crystal rounds which are four millimeter you're getting your tiger tail your collots which will be enough to make your necklace and your bracelet your crimp beads your jump rings and your lobster clasp as well. So this is the appetite. I'm just going to pop it on there so you can see how it would sit if you were wearing it. So it's really good in terms of properties for inspiration, truth, calm communication, which is probably something I could do with today. It's linked to Gemini as a zodiac stone, and it comes from the Greek word deceit or to deceive. Now, in terms of properties, if you buy into the properties of gemstones like I do, then the properties for the appetite is completely the opposite to deceive but it may come from the colour shift that you get. So it's a beautiful kind of green and blue, but it can also have pinks and violets in there as well. It's very, very pretty, and that one is £9. I'm going to try and go through these as quick as I can. Then we've got the Aquamarine. Now, in terms of a bargain, when I've bought strands of Aquamarine chips in the past, I usually paid at least £10 for those chips. Obviously, you're getting your chips in this, but you're also going to get all your findings and your crystal rounds as well. They are £10.76, pence, which again is down from £11.95. So in this, you're getting enough not just to make your beautiful necklace, but a bracelet as well. Now, Aquamarine is one of my favourites. It's often referred to as the mermaid stone. So sea merchants used to use it for protection. Greeks used to believe it was good for safe passage across stormy waters. It's from the Beryl family. Um, it is a March birthstone. So uh, Zodiac would be Pisces. 
and its Latin um, name, it comes from water of the sea. Obviously, you've got your aqua there. It's beautiful. It's good for calming, courage, cleansing. It's just gorgeous. If you like blues, this is the one for you today. So Aquamarine, £10.76. It's gorgeous. Can you see how excited I am? <laughs> and we've got the Black Obsidian. The Black Obsidian is £5.36, which is just ridiculous so uh, obsidian is good for protection and grounding it's an igneous rock it's made i think in volcanic eruptions and zodiac for that is your uh, scorpio and sagittarius but you know if you want a bit of grounding if you need that sense of calm then go for the black obsidian it's going to go with everything obviously those crystal uh, rounds in there just make it even more sparkly um and it would look beautiful with an evening gown or a t-shirt. It's just lovely. So that is your black obsidian. We have the dark amethyst. Now, this is stunning. Amethyst, you can get light amethyst. You can get dark amethyst. This is beautiful. You can see there's some gorgeous nuggets in there. Now, obviously, with your gem chips, every single one will be a slightly different shape, size, and there'll be a slightly different colour to each one as well. The amethyst is gorgeous. So amethyst is a variety of quartz. It was worn and used by ancient Greeks and Romans and Egyptians. Um, it comes from the word amethystos, I think if I'm pronouncing that right. And it means not intoxicated. So they used to actually make like wine goblets and things out of amethyst. And apparently used to stop you getting drunk. Um, there's a lovely kind of um, mythology that goes with it as well. So I think it was Dionysius who was one of the gods and he um, cried into his glass of wine and he spilt it on amethyst and that was meant to have given him beautiful colour. It's meant to be good for uh, sleep and rest and calm and clarity and it is zodiac um, is linked with Aquarius and Pisces, I think. So that is amethyst for you. Absolutely gorgeous. Eight pounds, 24 pence. Bargain. Beauty bargain. I could be evil to talk to you about this. Okay, now we've got our garnet, which I know is a birthstone for some of you. It's a January birthstone. It's linked with Aries. Um, I think the Latin word for pomegranate is granitum. So I think it comes from, um, that's where the word garnet comes from, I think. So you find this in biblical text, ancient Greek fables. It's a very old and loved gemstone. So that's good for courage, positive thinking, self-confidence, friendship, a gorgeous deep red colour. Very, very pretty. And I love the crystals with that as well. So that is your garnet. And did I say how much the garnet was? Six pounds, 62 pence. Another one for pounds, 62 pence is your gold stone. Now, gold stone is a man-made gemstone, but that doesn't take away from its beauty and its wonder. So it's kind of got a beautiful kind of glittering glass kind of effect. It's referred to as monk stone as well, uh, because urban legend has it that it was created by Italian monks in the 1600s. But they found amulets in Iran dating back um, as far as the 1100s, 1200s, which is made of gold stone. So it's made with copper flecks, which gives it its brown kind of colour. But you can also get it made with cobalt and um, manganese. So that can give a kind of, you can get blue gold stone, green gold stone, purple gold stone. It's good for, it's believed to be good for ambition, attaining goals and positivity. And that one is linked with Sagittarius as a uh, zodiac as well. Absolute bargain, £6.62. Don't forget, we've got 10% off these for the week. So if you want them, grab them now. Now, malachite. Malachite, I find, is absolutely beautiful and very, very expensive often. Uh, it's it's faked an awful lot of the time as well. You can get man-made malachite. Um, this is genuine, 
all of the things that you need to make in these necklaces and your bracelet is in your kit today. It's very, very beautiful. Um, so it's a green copper carbonate mineral. Uh, it's got like azurite mixed into it. It was loved by Greeks and Egyptians. I think it comes from malakos, which is a Greek word that means soft. And apparently the ancient Egyptians used to use it um, ground it down into a powder to make eyeshadows so very cleopatra like so if you're feeling a little bit of a, a goddess or an empress then this one is for you absolutely stunning colors it's got gorgeous bands that run through it and it's the most beautiful green kind of emeraldy color it's absolutely stunning can't tell you which is my favorite love them all and we've got Peridot, which is, again, an absolute bargain at £10.79 today. It should have been eleven ninety-nine. I just love the colour of this. So it's a variety of olivine. It's, it's just summery for me. It's just got such a summer spirit to it. It's um, very much a good look um, crystal. So it's good for health, harmony, wellness and focus. That's linked with Leo and Virgo and is an August birthstone as well. So if you make to sell or you make as a gift, if it's somebody's birthday, I always like to try and find what gemstone matches their birthstone um, and make them something lovely. So your Peridot is here for you today. And is that it? Have I done them all? No, the rose quartz. I think I'm going to demo with the rose quartz today because the nuggets are just so beautiful and chunky so again everything you need in your kit absolutely stunning stunning gemstone it is the ultimate uh, love stone that it represents so it's good for love self-care and harmony it's linked to taurus and libra and it's just absolutely beautiful a gorgeous gorgeous quartz i think i've kind of covered as much as the properties as I can, I don't talk about the health properties associated with gemstones because obviously always go with your professional medical advice. Um, but if you want to have a little look at health benefits as well that are often attributed to the gemstones, you can do. Look at them. They're just so gorgeous. I can, I'm going to have to stop talking and I'm going to have to start making, aren't I? What have I missed? Um, Oh, there's loads, loads of you loving these. Joe, it's Joe's birthday. Happy birthday, Joe. Um, let me see what I've missed. So um, Camille says she likes the rose quartz and the aquamarine the best. Why not get both and mix them up, Camille? Lucy shared the link for you today. So it's totallybeads.co.uk Facebook tutorials forward slash and your gemstone jewellery sets. Thank you for that, Lucy. Um, Jackie's here. Hello, Jackie. Uh, Sharon's put her order in already. Linda says it's sunny in Clacton. Well, that's good because I'll be there on Thursday afternoon. Um, Janet says good morning, everyone, from her new home in Perth. Good luck to you, Janet. Hope you're settling in okay. Um, it's Joe's birthday, so she's going to pick the greens and the blues for herself. Treat yourself, Joe. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, Jitty's here. Hello to Jitty. Uh, Mina's wishing you a happy birthday, Joe. Hi from Sevi. Um, good morning to Francis, who's also wishing Joe a happy birthday. Tina says, morning all. Happy birthday to Joe. Joined late, may have to disappear depending on the phone call. Um, Lucy is suggesting it's an absolute fab price for the gemstones. It really is. Uh, Joe saying thank you for the birthday wishes. Hello to Seema. Hi to Tina. She's loving the gold stone. Um, Joanne is saying good morning to Natalie and happy birthday to Joe. Good morning to Angela. Good morning to Roy. He says good morning, everyone. First time joining in, although watched for ages. Sorry, I'm under my late husband's name. Oh, it's Kim. Um, she says, but I'm Kim and met Mina yesterday and she encouraged me to post today. So thank you, Mina. Thank you, Mina. And welcome to you, Kim. Thank you for joining us. Sheila says the um, Malachite is her favourite stone. Yes, Victoria says, don't get malachite wet. It dissolves easily. It is um, toxic if it's if it's in its raw form and it's wet. These will be fine. They're cut and polished for you. Um, often people cleanse 
their gemstones in various different ways. Some can't go into water. Moonlight is good for everything. So always pop it under the light of a full moon if you want to cleanse it or get some incense out. Um, oh, Sue says we nearly called our youngest daughter Perido as it's both our birthstone, but ended up calling her Perida, known as Perdi. That's gorgeous, Sue. Um, Linda says, my God, Natalie, you are the mind of information. I wish I knew all the names of the gems. It's um, an obsession, Linda, and I, I often forget. I always forget what zodiac's associated with what, so I tend to have a little look. Um, Lucy says, Peridot is a very pretty colour. Judith's loving all of them. Um, Lucy's loving the rose. Um, where is the Gemini one? Um, to be honest, even though some of them are linked to certain gemstones, they're good for, for numerous ones. So you can have a little look at the properties of each of them, and I'm sure one of them will be linked with Gemini as well. Hello to Melissa. She says she's very hot in Texas. Um, Lucy's loving the gemstone knowledge. Um, Everyone's wishing Miss Rainbow a happy birthday. Question, which one is linked to Virgo September birthday, please? Um, your Peridot is linked with Virgo. Uh, yeah, I'd go for the Peridot one, this beautiful one. Um, happy birthday to Joe, says Victoria. Uh, <laughs> Angela says, that was a lovely educational bit. Missed the first bit, so I'll need to rewatch. Happy birthday to Joe. Happy birthday to Joe. Happy birthday to Joe. Everyone's just wishing you a happy, happy birthday. Um, and I think I'm up to date with comments. Tina is saying, you're with a lovely group and you're very welcome. Um, and everybody's welcoming Kim to the group as well. So that's lovely. Right, let's get making. So I'm going to go with the rose quartz. Um, just because it's it's pretty, it's pink. I think we all need a bit of self-care, a little bit of love. And I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. So I'm not gonna get to make the bracelets with you, but they will work exactly the same as the necklaces. Let me pop them all out the way. Look at them. Look at those beauties. So I'm gonna cut two lengths of my tiger tail. I'm cutting about 50 centimeters i will trim it down a little bit what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to make them roughly the same length because i'm going to be joining them into a double strand but i'm just going to use one at the moment because i know the order in which i'm putting my gemstones and my crystal rounds on i'm going to go straight to adding on my findings at the end so i don't need the bead stopper now you can bulk these out if you want to if you've got seed beads maybe you've got some gorgeous seed beads in a similar color you can pop them in as well you might want to use your um little crimp beads as extra spaces so you can bulk it out and maybe you'll be able to make a double strand bracelet or you'll even be able to maybe make three strands on your necklace. That would look very lovely as well. So I'm popping my calotte on. Um, your findings will slightly differ. So for the rose quartz, the appetite and the aquamarine, we are doing silver findings. For the black obsidian, amethyst and malachite, we have the, let me check, the rhodium for you and on the garnet peridot and the gold stone we're using gold findings so i'm popping the silver findings with the rose quartz today i'm going to pop on two of my crimp beads after i pop that clot on and i'm just going to slide them down and i'm going to double crimp it so i'm putting two of the crimp beads on just to make sure that my findings are going to be nice and sturdy now i'm going to attach these on to one jump ring so they will hang both strands will hang together so i'm closing over the collar with my fingers and then just again with my pliers making sure those little eyelets are lined up and now I can cut open, where's my scissors? My gorgeous long gemstone strand. Look at the length of that. It doesn't even fit in the camera how long it is. And I'm just gonna move them out the way 
and pour a load out on my desk. And I'm going to do the same with the crystals as well. So you've got the gorgeous crystals which match in colour. These beautiful, delicate little pink ones. Can I turn the camera light up a bit? I don't know. Is that any better? Let's see. How about that one? Is that a little bit better? Let me know, Tina. Um, Lucy says she's got a problem. She wants them all. Well, they're not going to be there for long. As Camille says, don't sit on your hands. We've got an offer on today, um, which will last for the rest of the week. So get that 10% off now. Okay, so I'm going to add on one of my little lovely little crystals and then I'm going to add on three of my gemstone chips and say so you can add these in any order so if you want to do two crystals one chip whatever it is if you do it this way you will have enough for two strands in your necklace but as I say you can bulk it out a bit as well so you might want to add more crystals in between and it's just going to be a really basic um pattern repeat of crystal three gemstones crystal so i'm just going to add them on you'll see with these um rose quartz they're really large chips to me they're more like little nuggets look at the size of them so they're going to give you a very delicate de very very pretty look um but each one is going to be slightly different in shape and size which i think just gives it a really nice texture and they're just so very very lovely so it won't take me too long which is just as well because i've chatted on about rose quartz and all the other gemstone properties for however long i'm just literally adding on one of the crystals and then popping on three of the gemstones. And because you're gonna, you're gonna have two of these strands made up, so you're gonna have a really kind of full looking necklace. It's gonna be really, really lovely. The crystals are just gonna catch the light a little bit more. It has gone dark in here, hasn't it? You wouldn't think it was a summer's day. but rose quartz is is a beautiful beautiful stone um it's associated with lots of things um but it is of love and friendship and self-care so it's it's got a very calming beautiful pale pink color to it good morning to anne she says, good morning, Natalie, and everybody from rainy Yorkshire. Sorry she's late. Mina's love in the dark. Amethyst, the rose quartz, and the black obsidian. Well, Mina, I'm sure you'll probably get a few. I mean, you could mix these up. I think the, the amethyst would look gorgeous with the rose quartz as well, to be honest. Um, you don't have to stick to one colour. If you've got a few in your basket, you might um, have a few chips left over and you might want to mix your bracelet. Camille says, replying to Lucy, the trouble with buying too much, you need the time and enthusiasm to keep making it. Um, I, I never get bored of making anything with a gemstone. And I think sometimes it's just nice to to make little bracelets, very quick makes, so only make you take you about 10 minutes to make one of these. Everybody loves a gemstone, so they make perfect gifts. And if you're selling them, I mean, how much was the rose quartz? I think the rose quartz was just stupidly cheap. Five pounds, 36 pence. 
So if you wanted, you could just make numerous bracelets. Um, you're going to be able to sell one of them for more than five pounds, surely. Mina says she's placed the order last night and again now. <laughs> Tina says, I've got the enthusiasm, just not the time. Yeah, I, I know how that is. I have so many ideas in my head of things I want to make and things I want to do. Um, and I, I just have lists and like images saved on my phone. So I'll see something and think, oh, that's a good idea. I might make something similar to that. Um, endless lists of things to watch and things to make and never do any of them well i do some of them i've made quite a little bit this weekend um i've made a pendant for a friend i've made um a few pendants for bridesmaids i've made some gorgeous earrings up for a totally beads live in a few weeks I've made some beautiful pendants for Totally Beads Live in a few weeks. Um, and I've made something for my dad to gift to his friend as well. So I've had a busy old couple of days. I was due to see Alanis Morissette on Saturday. It's been rearranged about four times now um i booked them years ago pre-lockdown and then obviously covid hit so she rescheduled and then it got rescheduled again and then i was due to see her in november and she rescheduled again and then saturday evening was very excited I was going to go with my sister as a gift for her 40th birthday and she's not well now Alanis she's got I don't know if it's laryngitis or something get well soon if you're watching um so she hasn't cancelled she did the Leeds gig but the Manchester one that I was due to go to um she has rearranged for next Thursday evening and as you know I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in beautiful, sunny Clacton now. So as excited as I am about going to Clacton, I am very disappointed. This has been like two or three years in the waiting. Um, so, yeah, hoping I'm able to get a refund because the tickets were very expensive. <laughs> so if... Um, if the gig on Thursday goes ahead, if anyone's going to that, have a wonderful time. Um, please stream it for me so I can watch. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but there you go. Uh, Lucy says she saw that it was cancelled again. Yes, Tina, isn't it ironic? Bubble. <laughs> um, if you are a fan of Alanis and you know her song lyrics, I was wanting to unabashedly bawl my eyes out. I was, I was, I was very disappointed. Um, Tina says, I can hear you sing it now. No, you can't. I've told you I'm not singing on a live. If I'm not going to sing Joe a happy birthday. I'm definitely not singing Alana. She's got an amazing voice. We'll leave it to her, the professional. Um, Roy says, I love them all. Sorry, it's not Roy, is it? It's Kim. Um, she's groaning about the bank account well if i mean i can't comment kim because if i'm ever going to buy anything it's gemstones if i ever have any spare money it's gemstones so as i wasn't able to go to my concert i took solace in my gemstones and that's why i've made <laughs> absolutely loads tina go on then you start and as soon as i can hear you i'll join in <laughs> Lucy's asking, can I go down to Kitty's the day after? My train's booked. Um, it's been quite difficult for me and Kitty to try and get a time that works for us both. Um, obviously, you know, we're both busy with families and Frank starting school and everything. I've got the live planned um, 
for Friday morning. So if I can go down on the Thursday, I can be here with you to do the live on the Friday and I can do the live on the Monday um, when I'm home. Whereas if I go on Friday, I can't do the live with you and then I can't come back because I'll be going a day later so I won't be able to get back until the Monday, which means I'll probably miss a live again or we'll have to try and squeeze one in and then rush to a train station. It's just been it's I don't I don't think it was meant to be, to be honest. Um you know, with everything with the train striking and whatnot, it just as I say, don't think it was meant to be. And I to be honest, I don't want to go through the palaver of trying to rearrange everything and then she cancel again because she's still not well or whatever. I'm hoping for people who've got the tickets that that's not the case, but um, I do believe people were inside the Leeds venue when they got told it was cancelled. So, you know, I, I'm in a quite a lucky position. Lots of people have um, been very much out of pocket because they've, they've sorted transport and hotel accommodation. I didn't have to do any of that. So it's not the end of the world, just wasn't meant to be. So I have got to the end of my beautiful strand and I'm going to add on my next clasp. So I'm going to pop on my collot and my two crimp beads got a little bit of fluff off my table I'll pop the fluff away they don't come in your kits so I'm just crimping that first crimp bead making sure it's very flat and it's tucked right in and then I'm going to add the next one and I'm going to do the same with that and then I'm going to trim off that little tail end And then I will close that over. So that's the first one done. Really straightforward, really simple. I'm just going to be able to add my next one now. And then attach them both to the same jump ring. So that is my first absolute beauty. You will find I often hold it up just to make sure that the crystals fall into place. Because as they're different shapes, they can move around a little bit. And then you can sometimes get a little bit of a gap in your tiger tail but I don't want to have it too taut so that is my first one on with the next so again I'm going to take my collot and thread that on and then I'm taking two of my crimp beads popping both of the crimp beads on Sliding that up to the end of the tiger tail and flattening them both down. So I just drop it and gently crush it, bring up my clot, give that a gentle press. <laughs> yes, Lucy, she says, bless you. I'd rather go see Kitty than Alanis. We're going to be very, 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 very busy. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. Um, Tina says, send our love to Kitty and Sarah, will you? I don't think I'll see Sarah. Um, I never get to see Sarah. She's always very, very busy. Um, but I will definitely send my love to Kitty and I will ask her to pass on my love to Sarah as I usually do. Um, Camille says I enjoyed watching Sir Paul on the telly from Glastonbury. Great going for 80 year old man. Yeah so I think he's the oldest headliner for Glastonbury and um, Billy Eilish was the youngest performer so it's been it's been a good old glasto, I think. Right. So I'm going to start again with one of my gorgeous little crystal rounds, sliding that up to the top, and then I'm adding on three of my gemstone chips. So you can start if you want to pour them out. You can start with some of the small ones towards the back or towards the ends, if you wish. 
as I say, they are all different in size and all very, very beautiful. Adding on a crystal. Adding on three crystal chips. So again, you can add these as you want to. If you want to add more of your crystals on, if you want to um, change the order, so you might want to do two gemstones in the middle. You might want to add in some extra goodies if you want to. So if you've got seed beads, seed beads look lovely in between them as well. And you can just come up with your own pattern. All I'm doing is just picking up my gemstone and I just give it a little look to make sure that the hole is nice in terms of it going right through the middle. Um, sometimes you can get them and they've been cut very close to the edge. So if it's, if it's very thin in terms of where that hole is near the edge, sometimes I will pop that to the side just because if you give it a little knock it might chip and it might come off but they are beautiful and gorgeous in size i think some of them are obviously more chunky than others so i think the rose quartz you've got really nice large size chips on these so um they do tend to to make up a bit quicker because you don't have to put as many on because the chips take up quite a little bit of the room <laughs> camille says paul mccartney was her first crush i like george i'd say george was probably my favorite beetle but being from liverpool you can't you can't get away from the Beatles. It is our music heritage. <laughs> Sue also liked George. Um, Tina says, these remind me of the Christmas kit with the wire cuff bracelet. I love making that one. I loved making that one as well. Um, if you did do the wire cuff bracelet, these necklaces would look amazing with them. Extra sparkle. I might try and do a variation on them um, again in the future because they were quite simple to make. They were just using the wire to kind of link them together. Um, so I might try them again, maybe with a, a different clasp or uh, a, maybe add some gemstone rounds into them as well. I do think there were there was the appetite definitely in the in the kits i'm trying to remember what kits we made up with the the cuffs but i think it was it was like a lucky dip wasn't it so i don't know whether you could choose which one you got well you may have been able to towards the end i'm not too sure if there was any stock left over um but if you have one of those see what colour it is and then what's going to match it. So there was the, I think the tourmaline was in there. That was really lovely. That was like a mix. Um, and we had like the mix colour quartz, I think, as well. So you could, you could get a few of these necklaces and they would have matched. Very, very pretty. Oh, Tina says, please do. Is that to, to do the cuffs again? I really enjoyed making them, though I did pre-record it and I always prefer just doing a live and chatting with you than pre-recording. Um, I just, I don't know why. I feel like obviously I've got more to, to bounce off because I can read your comments and we can talk at the same time. Um, I always end up having to do them multiple times as well and like record it and then have to stop and then redo it. Whereas if I make any mistakes on a live, you just see how I work that out naturally, which I think is better really because you get to see, you know, we're all human and we all make mistakes. I'm just going to pop that one to the side. So can you see 
there is the hole that runs through it but it's it's quite thin towards the edge so because i'm going to have more than plenty i'm just going to leave that one out and replace it with something which is a little bit more central <laughs> camille says because you don't get any feet a cheek from us yeah well i like that though i like your banter miss camille you keep me laughing um and you, you can share ideas more as well um whereas i think you know if you've got any tips and things like that i always like to to know what you you suggest uh, i like to know what you're currently working on what the weather's like where you are um so i don't know i don't know how this year will work whether we'll do some lives over christmas or we'll We'll do some more pre-recording. Obviously, it's always nice to have the time off over Christmas to to spend with family and to um, to rest a little bit. But I do miss you. So I'm just continuing to add on my gorgeous gemstone chips and pop in a little crystal in between them they thread on really really easy you don't need a needle or anything you can just pick them up with your hands i do rather than use the needle um the tiger tail as a needle i just pick it up because obviously your Gem chips are irregular in shape, so the holes are going to be in slightly different places. So I just find it easier to just pick it up, have a little look. The wind is picking up again. So I'm not really considering what's going to go on where. As I say, they're all slightly different in shape, so I'm going to get some much longer ones and some much smaller ones and fatter ones and thinner ones i quite like the mix of the texture uh, in that size and the irregular shape of the gemstones so the only thing i tend to do is maybe put some smaller ones on towards the end they're perfect for the end but it, it really doesn't matter Reckon these would fit on memory wire, Natalie. What the gemstone chips? Um, I don't know. I suppose it depends what gauge memory wire you've you've got. You could try it. I I doubt it. I think the thing with your tiger tail is it's got that flex to it, so it can move in and out your, your memory wire obviously it's gonna with it being tempered steel it's gonna keep its shape um so you might find that the gemstones might be a little bit brittle as you're moving them around the band of the memory wire try it um some gemstones may and some you might find don't I suppose it will depend on each individual chip um You'd want quite a smaller gauge, I think, in terms of your memory wire, though. You could wire wrap them on, though. That would be a, an option. So I would get something like a 0 0.3 wire, maybe, or a 0 0.4, and pop my chip on, and then wrap that around the memory wire. It'd take you a little while but it might look really nice. Okay, so I'm getting to the end now. So I'm going to pop my crystal on. My last three chips. And then I'm going to pop on my clot. And then I'm going to get my two crimp beads out. Um, so when you're making your bracelet, you're just going to make exactly the same, just smaller. So measure out how much um, tiger tail you want. Probably use about 25 centimetres, maybe. Um, 
and then you can if you want you could attach a little extender chain to both of these you could attach one to your necklace and you could attach one to your bracelet you could even get a little ball pin and pop on maybe a crystal and a chip onto your ball pin do a little wrap loop um which might be a nice little embellishment for um there it is a nice little embellishment for the end of your clasp so again i've popped both of them on my crimp beads i'm flattening them down and i'm trimming off that little bit of tiger tail closing over my collot with my fingers first and then with my pliers so i've got obviously i popped that one to the side there i've got all those left and a whole lot of crystals which is going to be enough for a one strand of my bracelet if you wanted to you could maybe just do a little focal point where you're just putting a few in the middle and then you could put the crystals around the edges lots of things you could do obviously if you're using the same gorgeous gemstones and crystals you're going to get a matching set regardless of how you make them up okay so i've got my two strands and I'm now just going to attach them on the jump ring. I don't want them to twist round as I'm making them. So I've got one which is going to be probably slightly smaller, which I'll put in the middle. But it will hang and look lovely. Um, yes, Tina, earrings to match. That's a good suggestion. Um, yeah, you'll probably have a couple left over, even if you just keep one of your gemstones and add one of those onto um a little ball pin or something. <laughs> Sue's asking, who's already bought Christmas prezzies? There's probably only about six months left, isn't there, till Christmas? So, um, yeah, no, I haven't, Sue. I'm not ready yet. I'm not buying things in advance now, given how it worked out with my sister's 40th birthday present. So I've opened up my jump ring, and I'm going to slide my jump ring onto both ends of those collots and then close that up and again on the other side so you can lay them out flat like this and then you know they're not accidentally getting twisted or crossed over i'm wondering how many comments i've missed um if i've missed any questions please pop a cue in the comments before your comment so I can identify that as a question and I'll do my best to um, answer that. Lucy says, I only really buy Christmas presents for myself. That's a lovely suggestion, Lucy. Right, so I'm popping on my next jump ring. It's going through this one and through that one too. I'm going to close that up a little bit more. So I'm just taking it, I'm either opening it towards me or away from me because I don't want to distort it. I'm just going to close that and I'm just going to check that they're hanging nicely and then I'm going to add on my lobster clasp to whichever side I like. So if you want to, you could add on more jump rings if you wanted to make that as kind of like a little bit of an extender but I tend to find my lobster clasp will just fit nicely onto that one jump ring that I've attached it to right I'm not going to have time to make the bracelet with you as well but As I say, it works exactly the same way in terms of method. So there is my beautiful necklace. It doesn't take very long at all to make. Um, shall we put it on? Let's put it on. So what have I missed in the comments? Um, 
Sue saying, if I see something I know someone will like, I grab it there and then and stash it under my desk. Don't tell people where you hide the Christmas presents, Sue. And don't forget, you've got to send them to Father Christmas, haven't you? He needs to wrap them. Um, Lucy says, that's gorgeous. I think I got some rose chips in my stash. Might have a go at this. Still trying to find my missing mojo. Look how beautiful it is. Look how gorgeous it sits. The thing with these necklaces is they look better on than they do when they're flat. I think that's all all jewellery. They all need to be worn and shown off. There's the most beautiful sparkle in them. They feel so lovely. Gem, genuine gemstones are always cold to touch. Um, and I just they're just very, very, very pretty. Might leave this one on today. <laughs> T2 is giving me a whole lot of hearts so thank you so much for joining me um Ruth saying it's only 10 39 if you turn back the clock and <laughs> time's plenty I make it three minutes to 11 o'clock um so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to Ruth but please give me a thumbs up and a like follow us on uh, YouTube subscribe so you can to find all of our lovely mates um tina says the same with diamonds they look better on than on the counter <laughs> pauline saying um that she oh thank you lucy that's very very kind of you pauline saying that they look great um and margaret says lovely i need to go alfie daughter's jack going mental at the garden <laughs> He's all make me laugh. Judith said, thanks for a great tutorial. You are most welcome. Um, yeah, I don't know what I've missed. You do keep me laughing. Thank you for cheering me up today. I've had a bit of a glum weekend um, and crystals and you lot always put a smile on my face. So I will be, what day are we on? Monday. I will be back with you on Friday. I will be with you in Clapton on Friday or Frinton, depending on where it is that I do the live. I'm either going to be making, I'm going to be doing bracelets with you, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. Um, we've got some gorgeous ones with some beautiful little um, like rhinestone chatons, which we might be doing, or we might be doing some really lovely, easy pretty um stretch bracelets and if we do that one you're gonna get so much in your kit so i'll have a little chat with kitty and simon and see what they would prefer and either way i will be back with you on friday um judith you are welcome uh camille you are most welcome roy kim you are most welcome uh tina is saying uh to ta for now not seen that abbreviation for ages tina um yeah i'm just just reading some of your comments you're all being very very lovely um have a lovely lovely week my little one has been not too well this weekend um and i've not had much sleep but today he's on his first like nursery trip without me he's gone to the ice cream farm so there's no way he wasn't going to be feeling better for that so i'm hoping the weather perks up a little bit um and I hope you all have a lovely day. Um, maybe have an ice cream too. All right, take care, y'all. I will see you soon. Lots of love, lots of light. Bye.